Hi guys, welcome again. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm Coco Girl, and in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create motion graphics for your videos. This will help you create more professional and engaging contents. It is also a very easy strategy to boost your views and engagements. Let me show you some examples. Without further ado, let's get started. So, to get started, you're going to be coming here to your Chrome browser and you're going to be going to canva.com. So first off, if you have not registered or sent in with Canva, you have to do that before you continue. Alright, so once that is done, you're going to come here to add, you know, the templates you want to use. If you're using a tick, doing it for a TikTok, you're going to use a TikTok template. If you're using, uh, doing it for Instagram or YouTube, you use a template. So for this video, I'm going to be using a TikTok template. So you have to select the mode you want. So for this video, I'll be using the 9 ratio 16 mode. And once you select that, automatically you're going to be sent into your workspace. And once that is done, you can see right here, you're already on your Canva workspace. So you come here to where you have element right here at the bottom here you click on element and in elements you can come here to search for whatever um you know graphic templates you want to use for example if you want to do a, a motion graphics for a moving car you come here to type moving car all right you type moving car and you can see that there are so many templates so but then remember we are doing a motion graphic so you don't want to select a car that ha does not have any motion so for that reason you would come here to where you have this filter option right here so you click on filter and you'll come here to click on animated once you click on animated there's going to be um, a kind of um, you know separations and you literally be seeing more of the moving cars but now that is not all we don't want to be seeing all these kind of moving cars and all so what you're literally going to come here to you know um select you come here and select graphic that's where you will only get only graphic options for the moving cars i'm very sure you can see it these are moving cars and there are so so many interesting you know templates you can move here so you just for it like if you're using a truck or using a bus you select it so for this video i'm going to be using you know this particular um moving car you can see that it's really nice and it's actually showing some motions so you can come here to flip it if you want it to be moving the other way you can flip it horizontally all right and that is good all right so you can reduce it a bit all right so now what you need to do next is you have to change the background so you select the background here and you change the color because when we're going to be editing it on cam on cap cuts we need to remove the background using chroma key so we need to select a background that can be easily removed just like the green screen background but however if you're using you know a a car or an element that contains the green screen as part of the color for example if you're using uh, maybe for example you're doing money and then the color of the money has a color of, or a touch of green then you can use any other um color that does not that is not contained in that picture i hope you understand that so for that reason you can go ahead to use your green screen here so once that is done you come here to download it and you select the so you leave it as mp4 video and you go and hit the download option and in a couple of minutes it's going to be downloaded into your mobile um, device storage all right so the next thing you're going to do you can come into your CapCut application and you're going to be selecting a new project and to start up a new project, you're going to be coming here to click on whatever template you have. And then you're going to be coming here to overlay. And you're going to be importing the motion graphic that you created using Canva. So here is it here. So I'm going to be importing it right here. And you can come here to scale it up if you want. And you can increase it a little bit. So what you're going to do now is you're going to be removing the background first of all. As you remove the background, you're going to be, first of all, you select it. And you would come here to where you have cutouts. And you will see an option here that says chroma key 
you select that and here you're going to first of all pick the color so you're going to be picking the green color and you come here and select intensity and you take it right down right you see you see that you take it right down and you also come here to shadows you can add a few shadows to it so that in case if there is any um, rough edge it won't be noticed once that is done you come here to click ok so now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some animations to this and here you come to animation and here we're going to be looking for slide right like this all right and you would also be using an out animation too which is also slide right so you see that so it's going to be like in and out all right so you see that so what we're going to do next but before that you will actually need to check to know how long the you know motion graphic is if it's too long you have to reduce it so let's check it here i feel it's too long so you need to keep it short all right all right so i think this is short enough so again you come here i think the out animation was since i reduced it you have to add it again so this is the in you come here and then you select the out so slide to right so let's check to see what it looks like right now you see that so it's not looking bad at all so you can come here and remove this already so it's not looking bad at all so what you're going to do next you're going to come here to add some effect to it and first effect you're going to be adding is the shake effect so you can come here to where you have your effect option just go back you see where you have effects and you go to your video effects and here in effects you're going to search for shake and you're going to be selecting this first one here right this first shake but then if you notice what is actually shaking is the background is the background that is shaking so if you want the motion graphic to shake that is the car because we actually want the car to shake and not the background so you're going to go click here cancel and then you click ok all right but now you come here to where you have object you click on overlay so instead of the main background to be shaking you come here select so that the car will be the one shaking so you click ok all right and then you can check it out you see but then the shake is too much so you come here to reduce it so the intensity of the shake you can reduce that a bit you have to reduce, still reduce it let's see what it looks like so it's adding some you know realistic city to it kind of you understand that so that's okay so the shake is good now so now what we need to do next you're going to be adding some glow effects to it so to add some glow again you come here to your video effects again and you also be coming here to type edge glow so here you'll be selecting the edge glow here you see that just like what i told you it's actually the background that's going to be you know be glowing so if you want the you know the car to be the one glowing you would come here select the car all right so you can notice that it's going to start glowing right now all right so you can actually increase the intensity you can increase the intensity again or you reduce it so it doesn't become too much all right so that's it so but many times um for this kind of tutorials you sometimes see them in black and white so if you don't want to have this in this um this bluish and orangish color and you want it to get to the white and black color all you just need to do you select it and you come here to adjustment or adjust option so your saturation of course you just have to reduce it a bit you just reduce the saturation very well so sorry the saturation actually the contrast you can increase the contrast a bit all right just like this you can increase the contrast you know you can also add some you know sharpening to the image all right and then some highlights to it or you reduce the highlights whichever one so you can see this is now making more sense so you can see that yeah so this is cool so now the next thing you need to do you can add some sound effects so to add sound effects you just come down here to where you have audio and in audio you come here to where you have effect and you're adding some sound effects to it so you come here to sound effects and literally what you're going to come here to do come here to type car so or a moving car whatever so basically you want to you know a car or a car so just come here so add this one here you can add it so you can just reduce the sound a little bit just like this reduce it a bit so here what i'm going to do is so here that the sound begins to you know when the car drives off i would reduce make the sound fade off so it's going to be like this 
so you see that so it makes more sense well, once you're done all you just need to do you just go ahead to save it all right you can save it into your mobile phone so that is how to create motion graphic effects using your phone so, so i believe this video was really helpful to you if it was don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel and if you want to really learn more about the motion graphics i'm going to be uploading more videos in few um and days from now so if you really want to get to see all of those videos watch more of them so that you learn all and everything about motion graphics so i believe this was helpful see you in my next video bye for now